What's going on, Jerome? Happy Monday. So everyone and their mom knows that the movement from Ed Donato's defense last year, the Donna Shell defense where the Vikings were one of the worst, the worst defenses in the league and one of the worst defenses in team history, uh, to Brian Flores, things are going to get shaken up a little bit. And Brian Flores is going to be a head coach in this league again sometime soon, uh, but he's a defensive genius. He's uber aggressive, and he's going to get this uh, side of the ball playing the way that it should be, uh, which is fun, fast, fearless, and getting after where they may not shut out teams but guess what they're going to cause chances they're going to uh, make uh, plays and force turnovers and just really force the action and Bucky Brooks over at NFL.com he agrees so in a piece entitled 2023 NFL season the four offenses the four defenses that will make the biggest jumps uh, this fall he lists the Minnesota Vikings defense blah uh so vikings defense scoring defense tied for 28th uh total defense 31st although it takes exceptional talent to flourish in the nfl the presence of a high-end coach can help uh, a group exceed expectation first year vikings defense coordinator brian flores will produce better results than predecessor at donatel thanks not only to his attention to fundamentals and detail but his creative x's and o's as well the former dolphins head coach showed an ability to confound opponents with a bluff and blitz cover zero scheme in miami and i expect him to utilize some of the same same tactics to help the Vikings diffuse the high-powered offenses around the league. Coach Flo uh, will transform a group lacking in star power rude, uh, into a disruptive force that creates chaos with blitzes and simulated pressures. As Flores works his magic, the brilliant defensive strategist could quickly reemerge as a head coaching candidate, uh, having directed an impressive turnaround in short order. And that's the thing, too, where if Flores does get a head coaching job next offseason, I'm kind of okay with that because 100% that means that he turned around the Vikings defense and the offense is going to be top 10. Well, it was top 10 last year. Could be top five this year. That's going to be one hell of a combination. And uh, looking back at uh, Flores' defenses with the Dolphins 2020, 2021, and the Vikings last year, they bring the heat. So the Dolphins defenses blitzed at least 39% of the time uh, in the, his final two seasons in South Beach, ranked second in the league last year. 18.9%, 23rd in the league for the Vikings. And that was the thing where the Vikings weren't consistently getting pressure with four, uh, after, especially after Zadarius had his injury. And the fact that Harrison Smith had a, cl- a career low uh, number of blitzes, that, that really does say a lot. And then in scoring... 2020 Dolphins were 6th in the league, 16th to 2021, and the Vikings were 27th, giving up 427, which is just horrible, horrible. Uh, and then the Vikings defense last year, uh, Blitz 24th in the league, Pressure's 25th, and Pressure's 25th, even with Zadaris playing at extremely high level early in the season and Daniil stepping up a set later in the year collectively as a whole they simply were not getting the pressure that you needed uh, and sacks only 39 tied to 21st uh, in the league so it's kind of rough all the way around and then Flores' defense uh, his final two years in South Beach uh, 2021 uh, they were second in blitz fi- uh, third in pressures and fifth in sacks uh, so he can get this team going and so I- I'm absolutely all in on Brian Flores and also some of the changes they made on defense I mean, yes, Eric Hendricks was a name brand, but he had gotten older. And could Brian Osama be an upgrade eventually? Yes, Patrick Peterson uh, loved his leadership in the locker room, but was he aging out as well? Yes, uh, uh, Dalvin Tomlinson. I would have loved to pay him at seven, not fourteen. Zadarius Smith did want to be here, so I-, I do believe that Brian Flores is going to elevate this talent level, and I, I think that at minimum they're going to be swashbuckling, they're going to be aggressive, they're really just going to get after it, and that's going to be better beneficial where uh, fortune favors the bold may, uh, may maybe not use that after the whole Matt Damon fiasco but uh, no risk it no biscuit and that includes the uh, the defensive side of the ball as well so somewhere Brian Flores is smiling because he's got a whole ball of clay and he's going to mold this thing into an elite defense that is going to get after the quarterback's ass it's going to stop the run and generate turnovers can't wait man can't wait. But your thoughts are our thoughts. Uh, Bucky Brooks uh, predicts a big jump for the Vikings defense thanks to this guy. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.